Abigail. Yeah, no shot. This is your waifu unless you're still in high school. And the yum yum joke? It got old ages ago, guys. Abyssal Euphine. You all try to justify this as your waifu the same exact way. Her red flags are big, but so are her boobs. Albedo. You're a huge Overlord fan, but probably also a huge masochist. And it wouldn't surprise me if you had a folder on your PC that was filled with <clears throat> fan art, as you call it. Alencia. You're the type of person that tries to explain to your friends how it's fine because she's actually a 1,000-year-old vampire or dragon girl in this case. Ahmed, your fingers are like newborn puppies, excited and fidgety, but unsure of where to go or how to get there, even though you already know where it is you want to go. Apocalypse Robbie, the superior waifu for 460 plus gear score having AI art enthusiasts. Araminta, you're probably a Full Metal Alchemist fan with a mature sense of taste. I smell living creatures. Huh? Ha! Huh? Ha! Architect Laika. The suffering of us turn two players must really get you off, huh? Aria. People call you shallow, but you don't understand. Racism isn't that bad, right? They just don't see what you see. What's really important in a waifu. Oh, right. Don't forget to log into Nikkei, by the way. You gotta make sure you get Summer Anis on her rerun banner to use with that shotgun team that you always wanted to try. Arunka. Your name is probably Redos, and you're never repeating the allegations. Astromancer Elena. At some point in your Epic 7 career, you developed PTSD from an Elbrus Ritual Sword counter. Come on, be honest. Biken. You're a casual Guilty Gear fan that waited to buy Exert until Revelator 2 came out, and then you struggled to find a main at the beginning of Strive's lifespan. Lord Knight is your favorite FGC YouTuber, and you may or may not have tried to make gacha game content on YouTube for a game that's incredibly niche. Wait, hold on. Bellion. She speaks of having the most efficient form while in combat. This includes huge boobs, thick thighs, exposed skin, and high heels. This is why she is our goddess. The God Queen, if you will. Also, f*** all the ancient book abusers. Alona, the elegance, the sass, the greatest magic. Now, if only she was usable outside of once a month in Nightmare Raid and Seasonal Rift, then maybe you'd be happier. Birgitta, let's be honest, you're probably Tristan Wolf, or just a really diehard Wendy Lee fan. Blooming Lydica, you tell everyone you've always been a Lydica fan, and she's always been your waifu since the day she came out. But deep down, we all know. It's the Vore Fetish. Bomb Model Kana. You settled because support model Brennus isn't in the game yet. Briar Witch Hesaria. Goth girls are hot. I don't blame you. Biblis. I love you, Biblis Onesan, for getting rid of candy, Ulu. Cecilia. <laughs> Celine. You're either a fan of airheaded sword girls, or you totally forgot this character existed until she got a swimsuit or a buff. Cerise. You long for the early days of RTA, where your speed gear was actually considered good. Sermia. You're a PvE enthusiast, you love watching Tristan Wolf, and Thideology is your religion. Charlotte. Stop it. Get some help. Chloe. And everyone will be like, boom, gone. Long live the queen. Shu, it is so satisfying watching Foosh kill everything that you're willing to put up with everyone judging you just for liking the rat. Command model Laika, team immunity, great in hunts, sets up your landy cleave that you swear totally works in the year 2024. Why don't more people love her like you do? Conqueror Lilius. To dominate or to be dominated, there are only two options in life. Designer Lilibet, you adore her because she was your first real cleanser, or you adore her because 
you really like armpits? Destina. You tell people she's your favorite waifu, but deep down, you know you're just too poor to own and properly gear made Chloe. Deanne. You tell your friends that she's going to get her adult form one day and that you're a big fan of magical girls. But you know everyone's judging you, right? Dizzy. She's married, with children, and she's eight years old. Is this really the hill you want to die on? Dragon Bride Senya. You married her on the spot the second you saw how dummy thick she was. Her HP total, of course. You swear. Dragon King Sharoon. She isn't really your waifu, but you feel obligated to protect her from all those people who said she sucked, that her design was terrible, and that she had a weird flipper hand for some reason. She is your proud daughter who defied all the naysayers. That said, you're never beating the allegations. Edda. Shrinking Violet is probably your favorite trope. You're a fan of Hinata Hyuga, most likely, which sadly makes you kind of basic. Elena. You're a fan of Sundarius with a hint of elegance. That said, no one is letting you live down that voice line. Shine forever. In the light of the stars. L felt Valentine. You just want to relive the glory days of Exert. Either that or you're just a delusional man named Drac. Elvira. Honestly, she's pretty badass. Your taste is excellent. Amelia. You're pretty excited about the big animation changes to Season 3 of ReZero. Fairytale Tenebria. <sighs> Some men just want to watch the world burn, don't they? Fallen Cecilia. You've rewatched the teaser for the 2024 World Championship about a hundred times already, praying for her return to her former glory. And when she gets it, you'll take Vic Chun's money and drink the tears of all the haters. Flan. You're willing to put up with being lied to and taken advantage of all the time for two big reasons. Fumir, you're more of a the ends justify the means type of person, aren't you? Holiday Euphine, she has huge uh, desires for food and that makes her cute. Yeah, that's what you tell yourself. Hua Young, be honest. You love the type of woman who can kick your ass. Ilanav. Simply put, she's the baddest bitch in the game. Why wouldn't she be your waifu? Isaria. Elf girl with a sword? Really? I mean, could you pick, like, a more interesting one? Like, even the racist one is more interesting. It, uh, whatever. Jacko Valentine. You fell in love with her weird and quirky gameplay style in Exert. Or you just spent way too much time staring at <clears throat> artwork. Judge Kisei. You're a fan of women with big personalities. And you probably downloaded the game the first time you saw them. I, I mean her. Kisei. The classier, more refined Kisei enjoyer. You may or may not also be obsessed with her Japanese voiceover artist. Just me? Okay. Laya. You tell people it's because you like maids, but deep down, it's because she's the only way you're winning any games of World Arena. Landy. Now what can I say? Was it the eyes? The cute <laughs> smile? The rose-colored lips? The slender body? Or was it perhaps something more carnal and innate, like those soft, gently sloping mounds that end sharply in accented peaks? She claims to be all natural, the genuine article, and looking at her, I must agree. All I see is 900, 290 pounds of precision sculpted robo ass perfection, and my face will be her charging port tonight. All systems go. <laughs> Lethe, you don't even try and hide it. She's the hottest girl in the game. That's it. That's the entire reason she's your waifu, and you don't care if Twitch chat roasts you for it or the fact that you still use Crimson Armin with Maid Chloe in 2024. Lydica, whips and this face excite you. Don't lie. Lilius, you spend a lot of your time wondering if Smogit even remembers that her body was never found after she fell off that cliff. If she ever does return, you're going to tell everyone how she's been your waifu since the days of Seaside Bologna. Lilibet, you probably have pictures of this character's original design somewhere on your PC. Yikes. 
Lionheart Sermia. You are a PvP enthusiast, you love watching I Am Sue, and Thideology is your religion. Little Queen Charlotte. Nope, 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 we're still not touching this one. Next. Lone Crescent Bologna. She is your goddess, your reason for existing. These other normies, they just don't understand. Lua. You also just want to watch the world burn. Lulica. You're the optimistic type. You know your waifu is great, just Smogate hasn't really gotten around to making her great yet. Wait, what do you mean it's been four years since she released? Luna. A cultured individual who hodled all their bookmarks for months as part of the Luna Wen movement. You spend all of your time, effort, and money in Epic 7 dedicated to increasing her gear score in hopes that it will one day match her booba score. Maid Chloe. You miss the days of first pick Maid, of the casino meta, of the times when you could play her with Crimson Armin and gear your whole account around her. Your name is also probably Carr. Melissa. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Midnight Galilius. F turn two players. Milam. Other Epic Seven? And Slime fans, for that matter, just don't understand. She's like a thousand years old. You don't understand why everyone keeps judging you. Mewi, you're probably best friends with the guy who's editing this video. Nakwal, nothing makes you happier than sucking every last bit of happiness and enjoyment out of someone else's day. There's a high chance you're also bald. Navy Captain Landy. Your waifu is superior to everyone else's. If they are losing to her, it's clearly a skill issue. You don't see anything wrong with her. She's a perfectly reasonable and balanced character. New Moon Luna. You were my hero growing up. I watched all your movies hundreds of times. You were the only one that was nearly as strong as me. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. You're just a cheap fucking knockoff. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the upgrade. Ocean Breeze Lulica. You either don't really have the ability to speed contest, or you're just a hardcore Lulica fan that really likes the enhancements to her dump truck. Operator Cigarette. You're an old school aggro player who, like Cerise players, peaked back in 2022. Peyra, you point out how your waifu is superior to everyone else's in terms of booba score. And when she's not, you fall back on how she's over 310 speed and meta. She's the total package waifu, goddammit, and you want everyone to know it. Pirate Captain Flan, you wish you were actually wandering Prince Sid. You see, she's your captain, your treasure box. Ahoy! Politus. Let's be real here, you're definitely a filthy cleaver. And if you're not, wow, you're probably like the most boring person ever. Ram, you're the rare ReZero fan that finds her to be the superior of the two maids. Considering all the basic Ram, Amelia, and Echidna stands that are out there, honestly, your taste is pretty respectable. Robbie, she's like 14. And isn't wearing pants. Get help. Rem. Wait. Who's Rem? Requiem Rowana. You can't decide what you love more. How thick she is? Or the feeling of knowing only you get to play Epic 7 when you pick her in PvP. Riza Hawkeye. You know your wife who is a certified top tier baddie. How can anyone hate her? She's even got Riz in her name. Rowana. As far as you're concerned, her design is peak. She is the real queen of Epic Seven, not this Luna character. 
You've saved every piece of artwork that Saren has made of her, both official and unofficial. There's also definitely a folder on your PC that if your mother saw, she'd be mortified. Ruel of Light. You're a fan of playing white mages in games, and you love her cute design. You pray for the day that Smilegate gives her a real honest-to-goodness buff. Sea Phantom Politis. You're a hardcore meta player who just wants to win at any cost. No one actually likes Sea Phantom Politis. Seaside Bologna. While Lone Crescent might be the new hotness, you haven't forgotten who the real number one waifu of Epic Seven is. Lifesteal, injury, you're constantly trying to find ways to make her work outside of Wyvern. Senya. You like girls who are badass knights. And you probably also like huge boobs too. And maybe wolf girls. Hopefully not girls who are a bit too young. And there's also a small chance that you're probably a massive cheater. Shaltier Bloodfallen. Lord Pararanchino clearly made the superior waifu. After all, she's the strongest fighter in Nazarig. The book said so, and they're so much better than the anime. Sharoon. You're either a fan of her character design or a huge fan of the type of gameplay that Venom teams provide. If you could even call that fun. Shuna. Look, I know she does really well in every single slime popularity poll, but I'm still not convinced you people exist. Cigarette. You're one of those elegant, refined Kisei fans, except you prefer glasses. Your cigarette is the highest gear score unit on your entire account. The thing is, you only use her for Wyvern 13. Silverblade Araminta. You're stuck in the past, trying to relive the glory days of when you used to think you were good at Epic 7. Solitary of the Snow. We have a word for people like you. Spectre Tenebria. You're an aggro player who somehow still thinks we're in 2023. Newsflash, first pick Spectre isn't good anymore. Time to learn something else. You know, maybe something that doesn't use Ancient Book for once. Also, feet are gross. Spirit Eye Selene. She's always in your third pick band protected slot, and you draft Christy every single game, even if your opponent doesn't have any debuffs. Also, you feel like Smilegate should buff her again. Summer Break Charlotte. <sighs> For the third time in this video, she's like 12. Please, I'm begging you, get help. Summertime Isaria. You think bomb teams are fun and nuanced. In reality, you're probably a cleaver that's still stuck in the past and hasn't really adapted with the times. Sylvan Sage Vivian. You remind people at least once a month on Reddit and other social media platforms to not forget what Smilegate took from us. A buff? Exclusive equipment? None of those matter. Restoring her chest size and returning her thigh mole, those are the top priorities as long as the Korean GRAC is out of commission. Tamarin. You think her design's cute and you really love the song Promise. You don't really take Epic 7 too seriously and just enjoy the game for what it is. Tenebria. You definitely have a few screws loose. Like, you're the type of person to just randomly go into other content creator streams and spam copy pastas with text to speech. Or are maybe the type of person to make well edited montages on YouTube that just happen to contain a ton of lewd Epic 7 artwork. Top model Lulica. You're a cleaver who one day aspires to have a Tomoka that's even half as good as BK Kenny's was. You also keep forgetting to pre ban Bellion in your games. Urban Shadow Shoe. Cyberpunk characters are cool, bruisers suck, Lia players deserve it. Vivian. You want a total package waifu. Someone who's strong and smart. Someone who's a great leader that advances the plot. And also just happens to have great plot points. If she was a bit better in PvP, you know she'd be the best overall character in Epic 7. Yufine. You're a fan of the cute bruiser trope, aren't you? I kinda could see it. Big boobs, bigger axe. Yulha. You fall into one of two camps. Either players who wish Krau got a buff so he's more usable, or players who believe crazy equals hot. Yuna. You believe that because Epic 7 runs on the Yuna engine that she's actually the game's true mascot. 
She's the main waifu in your opinion, and that's why you're loyal to her. And it's not because of the upskirt shot or you just coping because she's trash in literally every game. The Asper Girls. I'm really happy that you managed to check out Epic 7 thanks to the collab. Let me know how Valorant is. And finally, Faithless Lydica. Honestly, I almost forgot this character. That's okay though. The people who play her forget how to play the game all the time unless a legend cleaver tells them what to do.